following monologue is from the play Raised from the Sun, written by Lorraine Hansberry. And I'd like to set the scene by describing my character, Benita, who is 20 years old and really wants to go to college to become a doctor. Unfortunately, her parents are very poor and have just lost all the money set aside for her. Me? Me? I'm nothing. Me. When I was very small, we used to take our sleds out in the winter time, and we used to fill them in with snow to make them smooth and slide down them all day. And it was very dangerous, you know, far too steep. And sure enough, one day, a kid named Rufus he came down too fast, and he hit his head on the sidewalk. And his face just split open right there in front of us. And I remember standing there, looking at his bloody open face and thinking that was the end of Rufus. I was so small and I couldn't believe it. But this is what comes next. The ambulance came and they took him to the hospital and they fixed the broken bones, and they sewed it all up. And the next time I saw Rufus, he just had this little line down the middle of his face. I never got over that. That is what one person could do for another. Fix him up, sew up the problem, and make him all right again. That was the most marvelous thing in the world to me. And I wanted to do that. I always thought it was the one concrete thing in the world that a human being could do for another. Fix him up, solve the problem, and make him whole again. And that is why I wanted to cure. It used to be so important to me. It used to matter. I used to care. Not that I stopped caring. I mean, just about how people's bodies hurt and I guess I lost it. Why? Because it just, it doesn't seem deep enough, close enough to what ails mankind. It was a child's way of seeing things, or an idealist. I know, you're saying children see things very well sometimes, and idealists even better. I know that's what you think, but because you are still where I left off, you with all your hopes and dreams about Africa, you still think you can patch up the world? You can cure the great sore of colonialism with the penicillin of independence? Well, independence, and then what? I tell you, what about all the crooks and the thieves and just plain idiots who will come into power and steal the plunder the same as before? Only now they will be our race and do it in the name of the new independence. And what about them? Where does it end? to be an end, an end to misery, to suffering, to hatred, don't you see? There isn't any real progress. There is only one large circle that we all march in, around and around, each of us, with our own little image in front of us, our own little mirage of what we think could be the future. I'm going to do it. I will become a doctor one day.